Welcome back to another episode of Great Handyman's Home Remodeling Videos. We've gotten a lot done. Got some steps finished. Still working on the top step. Got the landing to do. But we've got all the decking up here finished. And as I suspected, we had to notch around certain things like that post. Now I'll have to come back and trim it out with more decking. I'll just take some of this Trex and rip it into skinnier pieces and use it as trim. As you can see, I'll need to do the same thing here as well. This came out at a slight angle. So in order to cover that up, we're going to do some nice trim from here all the way around. Well, we think it turned out real nice so far. Now you have a story to tell, Michelle. That's, tell that's true, that's true. All right. Living on the golf course has its dangers. Just avoided a, a golf ball hit here at the deck. Came in like a, like a bolt of lightning. Crack. So we need to get to this deck up, the rest of this deck. I want to loosen what screws I can. So we'll get all these pulled up and we'll start decking. And as you can see right there, I had to notch around that one. So it's not too difficult. Just take your time and uh, measure and cut. We're all the way up to the steps. We only got a few boards to go. And there we go. The landing all put together. Now the last row is extremely skinny and I'm gonna go ahead and rip this board down and uh, you got to be careful with Trex. Trex is different than than lumber as far as installation. For example in order to get a pattern I, I with the screw holes I've got to put screws in a certain spot. So that's going to leave me putting a screw here, one here to line up with these screws, and one there. Now, if your lumber is weak, I mean, just because I put a screw in doesn't mean that it actually grabbed the lumber underneath. I'd like to think that most of them are grabbing, and, and, and most of them are. And you can tell when they sink down like this. But when you get one like this, for example... It didn't quite go down all the way. Or one even worse. Here's one that's actually sticking up just a little bit. Uh, that's not going to be acceptable. That needs to be down. So there is a way to, to fix those things. And I'm going to show you how that's done now. So you can see how this one has stuck up just a little bit, which means it stopped grabbing the lumber underneath but I needed a screw here for the pattern to look proper so unfortunately I mean this is not lumber where I had the luxury of of putting a nail like here and here or you know avoiding a knot there's no knots in this stuff so you have to put a screw in to keep the pattern but if it doesn't grab you have to fix it so this material is kind of like plastic and it'll melt. <laughs> so if you just get your screw up to speed, if it's going to spin out, it's going to heat up, make its own hole, evict a bunch of shavings, and then we'll brush it off and we'll see if we've gone deep enough. Let me show you what I'm talking about.
there it's nice and deep plus some of the plastic has melted and gone over the top of the screw and it's kind of hiding the screw just a little bit it's gonna dry in place like that and harden and uh, I don't mind that look so that's how you get the screws down during the course of uh, assembly of this deck I've used the top board a lot to hold tools to balance boards and that was the reason why I didn't want to replace any of these right away I wanted to wait until everything was done and I was just about to finish so today is the day that we're going to start removing these top planks and replacing them with treks there we got part of this rail off now I don't know if you can notice on camera or not but the squareness of these rails I mean it's out of square if I line it up this way maybe you can see it here that it uh, tilts to the right slightly so my 45 degree cut that's coming in here if I do two 45s it's not going to be right it's it's going to be off and and we don't want that so it has to be a custom angle so let me show you how I'm going to do that okay every deck is different this one uh, is built with a post that's exactly three and a half inches so if you build with four by fours your post might be exactly the same and uh, to determine exactly where this top board is going to go um, I want it centered so there's a nice even flow atop all this and the two by four and the one two by twos are flush with the front of this 4 by 4 and the 2 by 4 that runs all the way along is flush with the front of this 4 by 4 so to keep an even distance between here out and here out is about the same so approximately one inch past my post to the edge of my board and the same thing approximately one inch to the edge of my board past the 4x4 and that's going to put the main support of this is going to be this 2x that runs the entire length this 2x4 that runs the entire length and if we measure in to the center of this 2x it's exactly 2 inches so if I to do a pencil line and do a pencil line down there and then snap a chalk line two inches in I'll keep my screws nice and straight and even and go right into this meaty 2 by 4 and it should be a nice firm hold plus I need to get the angle right here and I didn't know where the point was going to be but now I do so I can measure this out to one inch sticking out this way and one inch sticking out this way and this is where my point will end up being way out here once again I'm one inch sticking out from the 4 before post and one inch sticking out from the 4 before post this is where my corner will be now I can measure all the way to the brick all the way to this point 91 and a sixteenth I think just for play 91 will do just fine so let's take that measurement to the saw okay we've got our saw set on a 45 degree angle that's where we're gonna start and our saw is a radial arm saw meaning not only will it chop straight down like a chop saw but it will pull forward as well and you're gonna need that when you're cutting these diagonal lengths just because it's longer than the blade is big so with that we're gonna cut our angle first and then measure and cut the straight end
And right here is 91. Very good. Don't forget, Great Handyman offers free estimates. Go to greathandyman.com or call 720-936-IFIX. And remember I talked about that dumpster? Well, here it is. And now it's time to unload it. They'll be back to pick this up tomorrow. This is a big dumpster. It's more than 20 feet long. Longer than anything that I've got. So it'll be plenty big to hold all the trash, all the lumber that we've got. So if you're in the Denver area and you need a dumpster, this is the place to call. <laughs>